Hello everyone, welcome to happyamath.com. So today's topic is find a z-score using a given probability value. Okay, so please look at this example. So find the indicated z-score, A, 11.9% of the distribution's area to its left, B, 78.5% of the distribution's area to its right, C, 80% of the distribution's area lies between negative z and positive z. So before using Excel command, so I'm going to using some uh, normal distribution graph, actually the standard normal distribution graph, and explain what each case means first. Okay? So give me a second. So I'm going to copy this problem to the whiteboard, and we keep uh, discussing this problem okay so give me a second please okay so now look at this problem so I'm gonna do the graph for each case so this a means on the normal graph here so based on center zero some particular z-score which has the probability area 11.9% or we can rewrite this 0 0.1190 on its left. So in this case we normally reading z-table of the z-score then we, you can find the answer easily, right? But we can also find the actual problem as well. So soon after we will talk about that. So second case here, so based on the question description, on right side area represent 70.5%. It means this right hand side indicate 78.5%. But what was the condition of reading the Z table? Z table usually gives us on its left side. Therefore, you need, to, you need to subtract that from the 1 or 100%. So, 1 minus 0 0.7850, that value, which is 0 0.2150, that will be uh, our target value to find the corresponding z score. Are you with me so far? Yeah, I really hope so. Otherwise, please rewind this video, keep watching, okay, please. Now, C. C case, based on this normal curve here, the center is 80%, but look at this symbol carefully. It shows that negative Z and positive Z here, which means those Z score they are the same absolute value. But on the negative side, negative z. Positive side, positive z. That's what this means. So the center is 80% basically. Then you know that each tail, each tail share exactly the same area because they are symmetric basically. Okay, They're symmetric. So it can be 10%. And another 10%. So we reading instead basically 10% of z score or 0.1000 z score. Then this case just switch to this sign, then it can be the answer. Okay. So, but now uh, reading z score case, you can watch my just the normal statistic video. But this time we focus on using Excel program and find each answer for questions. Okay, just give me a second to go back to the Excel. All right. Hi, welcome back. Now we are on Excel again. Okay, so this case uh, we will using Excel commander like this. So please remember it shows that it's on the left side area. Okay, so equal normal. But this time, we have to find standard normal distribution inverse, okay? Because we're reading the probability value first, 
and find each corresponding z-score. So we are going backward basically. So you are finding, you are choosing this one, norm s inverse, and then put into the, the probability value, which is 0 0.1190, and close that, enter. Then now this z-score become negative 1.18 as the answer because he asked the left hand side. Make sense? Okay. And now, next one, he shows that it's right side area first, right? Therefore, what do you do? You need to find um, equal to 1 minus 0 0.7850. So that we need to find out left hand side area value first. Okay, then now equal to norm, uh, uh, standard norm inverse, which is this one, and put it into 0.215. Okay, and then enter. Then that's the basically answer for this case. Uh, because usually Z score we keep like 100 digit, so I'm gonna re reduce the 100 digit here. Okay, the last one. So 80% in the middle, right? So we just talk about that. We are finding 10% area basically, right? So you can make equal to normal standard inverse and just to point 0.1000 and then enter. Okay. Then now I also make this is the 100 digit. Okay, then this scenario, you also need to find out 1.28 will be the another answer because this is the symmetric case, so negative Z and positive Z. So I'm going to highlight all our answers so that you guys can see easily. Okay? So those are answers basically. Make sense so far? Okay. Then now, we have another way to find these answers. So A case is exactly the same, so I'm not going to touch that. But B case, we can do a little bit different way to do. Okay? So let's do it. So, so this is equal to norm inverse here. And then, now, what did we do? We subtract that from the one first right okay i'm gonna show you uh, before we're doing so this case we subtract this uh, probability, probability value from the whole first right now we are going to put it, this into the algorithm as a one algorithm basically so equal to norm standard inverse and then one minus 0 0.785 okay and then enter. Then do you see we got exactly the same answer? So just to make this is also 100 digit. Look at this and compare this value. They are exactly the same, right? So you can also type in uh, as a simple calculation or algebra, then you can do, you can get the, anyway the same answer. And now this case also we have different way to do. Okay. So remember, so this case, we are going to get one side value first, though. okay? So let's do it. Uh, equal to normal uh, standard inverse. This one, okay? Then now the symmetric value. So what do you do? You need to open one more parenthesis, and then one minus 0 0.8000. But now the two tails share exactly same remain remaining area value right so you need to divide by two first and then close that enter then you will get negative side here okay and now just making opposite number as well so that you can find uh, right tail side z score as well so i'm going to highlight those values too So again, so this scenario, what did we do? 
uh, after finding uh, subtraction that uh, probability value from the 1 and we input this value into the uh, normal standard inverse commander and then we got the answer now this case instead we subtract from the one first we indicate this into the uh, normal standard inverse uh, commander here at a one calculation then you can also get the answer now this case now we just subtract from the one first and divide by two this is where we got 10 percent each right so when i find this one i found just the point one zero 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 Okay. I have to find that because they also right side symmetry positive z-score so I also find 1.28 right okay so this scenario case I just make whole calculation um, using the uh, PEMDAS basically so we subtract that from the 1 first and divide by 2 then what did we get we got negative side z-score first and then we just make uh, opposite positive z-score okay yes that's all today basically so I, I hope this video will help you to understand how to find a z-score using a given probability value okay as usual i'm gonna see you next time with a different video all right thank you